Whether you realize it or not, an email signature says a lot about you. It's a great opportunity for you to make that first impression that you so desire because that email signature is gonna be a direct reflection on your business and what people can expect from you. And the beauty of realizing that your email signature is important is the fact that it's a very simple thing to change. It's a very simple thing to improve. So today we're gonna do just that. Okay, so for the purposes of today, we're gonna take my old signature, which is on the screen right now, and convert it into something a little bit cooler. So honestly, I think that my email signature is fine. It's okay, but after being introduced to this new way of creating an email signature, which we're about to do step by step, I just couldn't resist. So this is what we're going to, uh, we're gonna pull all, all the information that we have at this point in time with this email signature and we're gonna migrate it over to a new design. And what we're gonna use to do that is mysignature.io. There's gonna be a link down below so you can claim a discount if you're interested in that. But when it comes to creating an email signature, I think that there's a lot of cool designs, modern designs, that are gonna be highly effective as you can kind of see them scrolling through here, but we're gonna go in and do a complete revamp so you can see exactly how it works. And I get the benefit of, as I record this video, I get the benefit of killing two birds with one stone, of me doing the, the revamping of the email signature and providing value to you via this content. So we're gonna log in and I'm gonna create a new signature. So we're gonna go to new signature. Now I can start from scratch if I so choose, but I'm not gonna choose that because the benefit that I see with mysignature.io is that there's already some pretty dope designs and I don't have to think about it. I don't have to start from scratch. Now if I wanted to, I could, so you can kind of see what the editor is gonna look like there, but we're not going to venture down that path. So we're gonna scroll through here and see which ones we want. Let's just go with modern. Modern is pretty dope. Modern is pretty dope. I like that one. I dig that one quite a bit, actually. I like that one. Actually, that made it end up being it, actually. Um, let's see. That one's good. That one's good. Um, let's go with Elegant. So this is going to be for my real estate, my real estate email signature. So just keep that in mind. Go to professional. They're all pretty dope. That one looks to be like a very real estate-y one. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back to friendly. And you can peruse at your own leisure. We're gonna go with, this one looks cool. I like this one. We're gonna go with this one. All right, so we're gonna fill out my information real quick. All right, so I just spared you a couple of minutes so you didn't have to see me fumble through all of my information. The only thing that I'm not adding here that I'll probably add later is my mobile and my address. So since I don't wanna blur this out and um, I wanna see give you the full effect, I'm not gonna add that at this time. I'll just add that later. Images. All right, so I just added my image and I can replace it right here if I so choose, but I'm not going to. And when it comes to the banner, I replace the banner to a realtor banner. Now, it's easy to do, all you have to do is X out of that and you can actually design one from Canva if you so choose or use something within their gallery. So what I did was I chose from something within their gallery, then I went over to their realtor section right here and we'll give it a second, there we go. I selected this one. Although I kinda like that one as well, but it already has a message that I'm not um, I'm not gonna necessarily use. All is good. We are making progress. So again, this is um, this is requiring very little coding, aka none. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over to social now, and we're gonna work on our social links. Okay, now that the social links are in, I can put something up here if I so choose, like follow us. But no, I think that these are very self-explanatory, and as you can see, there's all of these different social media things and ways to connect that I have no clue what they are. So I can even include Fiverr if I want Squarespace. So that is dope. Oh, there's homes.com. So there's a Redfin, I believe. There's Realtor. So this is pretty dope. Um, and yeah, there we go. We have Zillow. 
So cool. The add-ons is something that I think is pretty cool. And this is really something that you really need to hone in on because we're talking about compliance now. Now, I can't tell you what is compliant or not because every state is different. So I understand that here in Texas, we do have to put the consumer protection notice in the IABS, the information about broker services. So that's something that I have to do. So just um, whatever uh, whatever you need to include, then that's what um, that's what needs to happen. So I could have actually done it over here in general. So if I would have added a custom field down here, I could have put I A B S, and then I can go back here and to include an I A B S or any hyperlink, I just upload it to Google Drive, and I get the link from there. So. I would go to the link instead of trying to attach a PDF every time. It's just a hyperlink. It's that simple. So you see the IABS right there and I add it right there. Same thing with the other uh, Trek notice. Now this is where we kind of get into the weeds. This is probably way too much information that you would care to know about real estate in Texas, but there's this, um, there is this debate on where the IABS and TREC consumer protection notice should go. So you see here that I put that put it up here before the email signature and you can kind of see it being done down here on this signature. Um, there's in my mind, I think um, either works. I would err more towards this. So that's why I'm not going to include it in the in the bottom but I can easily add those hyperlinks after I create the main body. But that's, again, that's probably way too much information that you, um, you really don't need to know. It's important that you understand your rules and regulations, but just wanted to give you that. Now, it, they have plenty of disclaimers, so you can add the disclaimer and include whatever you want. So a lot of real estate agents, what they do is put that, hey, don't wire money to the title company because there's a lot of fraud going on unless you have that verified so just be careful you can do a signature if you want you can do a handwritten or you can include your sincerely i personally use tears um so if i wanted to include my signature as an example oops blah 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 i would just add it there i'm not going to but if i wanted to it's populating up there so that's pretty cool so i'm just gonna let text work for me and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, my thing is cheers. So we're just gonna let that ride. Here we go. Font color, that's, a, that's fine. I don't like cheers that high or that large. So I'll reduce it a little, little bit. And I'll let you play around with the, the rest of these, but you can attach your calendar here. So if you have a Calendly link, you can embed it in your email signature so that's pretty cool there's a lot of different things that you can do that is very easy to easy to implement you don't have to go off and learn how to code or anything like that and i'll show you what it looks like here shortly so when we go to the design you're going to be able to adjust the font and i need to get to my Arial right there that's just that's just the font that i prefer so there we go i think the rest of it looks cool now if i wanted to change things up you can kind of see them um, adjust right there. So if I move these in, I like that. Or do this. Um, which one do you think looks better? I think this one looks fine. You know, now nah, let's go with this one. It makes it a little bit more horizontal. All right, so now that we're through, we're gonna save the signature. Cool. Now it's gonna give us instructions on how to install it. Personally, I already know how, but if you needed to install it on your Gmail then you just click on Gmail and it'll give you the the instructions so I'm gonna copy to clipboard I'm gonna go to my email I'm gonna go to settings I'm gonna see all settings I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna trash this one well let's create new my signature create now would put paste so that's all I did I went a command C and command V so at the same time and if you're in a PC, I believe it's control C and then control V, V as in Victor. So we're going to hit um, save. And if we hit compose, oops, 
I didn't select it, did I? Let's go back to settings. We're gonna scroll down. And now we're gonna go to, for new emails, we're gonna go with my signature. And for replies, we're gonna go with my signature. We're gonna save that. Now we're gonna hit compose and there's the new signature. It's really that simple. Now, if you're watching this, thank you so much. If you're interested in my signature and getting a discount with them, then be sure to hit the link down below. Now, this is the simplest way for you to actually create an email signature. And it's something that you absolutely must do. Even if you don't use this particular software that we went through today, learn how to do it yourself or pay somebody off of Fiverr to do it or use another company. At the end of the day, what's more important is that your email signature stays on point so you can start generating leads, so you can start converting clients and overall making that first impression that you so desire. <laughs>